A special police operation last week to crack down on auto theft. Who could imagine a 10-year-old would be among those caught up in the crime? No, it, it really uh, uh, doesn't surprise me. Jimmy Chambers has worked with youth for more than 30 years, from coaching to counseling. He's also a gang expert and says, don't let age fool you. They just got caught. You got a lot of children out there that age are, are doing crime, and it just they just hadn't gotten caught yet. When Memphis police held their special operation with Bartlett last week, they arrested 14 people, many for auto theft. Seven of those were juveniles. Police say juvenile crime is up, and recently more juveniles have been arrested for auto theft than adults, even though many juveniles can't even drive. We do have a lot uh, of suspects who are juveniles. Um, what we're seeing with the juveniles is they simply need a mode of transportation to get to point A to point B. So more vehicles are being taken by force. A lot of times the older kids that's committing crime want the younger kid to be out there with them. So the younger kid will take the charge, per se. They'll say, you take the charge, you did this. Or they will put a weapon in their hand and say, you can't. You grab the gun and you hold on to the gun because so, you won't do that much time if you go to juvenile court. So the older kids already know about the system, how it works. Chambers says until we address the issue of parenting, the crime among our juveniles will continue. But we need to hold our parents accountable. They need to stop. Put, when that child is picked up, we need to turn right around and go pick up the parent because I don't care if the parent is at work. The parent still should know where that child is because that's your responsibility. What is it going to take to stop the children? We got to deal with the parents. The parent needs to be disciplined just as well as the child. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. That certainly gets your attention. Now, Chambers works in juvenile court, but he also runs Camp Chambers, which counsels parents alongside juveniles to help keep them out of the court system.